hearing loss and dementia. Let's talk about it. Here's a part two on functional MRIs showing pre and post fitting of hearing aids on somebody with hearing loss and how the brain reorganizes itself back to being able to process sound again. So they ran MRIs while a patient was being tasked to hear something and tested to see how their brain was processing it. At the very top, you can see before hearing aids, before the hearing loss, the auditory system is lit up in red and yellow, it's bright, and this patient is able to hear well. Following a hearing loss, you can see that that auditory system back there is not lit up, um, it's dimmed out, it's not bright yellow, but what has lit up is the visual processing system and it shows us that our brain uses different parts of it to compensate for the loss, to help us hear. So we're speech reading, we're lip reading, we're looking at visual cues to make up for what we can't hear with our auditory brain. The problem with this is that it's very effortful on the brain. So using your vision to compensate, using cognition, so what did he say before and after, what was the context, all of that drains our brain of a lot of energy. It literally leaves us with less um, storage to kind of retain short-term information. So that's where we're finding one of the links, meaning links between hearing loss and memory. In this study, they fit this person with a set of hearing devices, and within six months of wearing them, what we're seeing is the auditory system starting to, the processing system starting to light up again, get stimulated and be active. This is very, very promising. It means that we can regain some function that we might have lost. So when your audiologist, your primary care physician, your neurologist tells you treating your hearing loss is going to help you with memory, it's going to help stimulate that auditory brain so you're relying on less com compensatory measures or less compensatory um, drain and effort on the brain. We're certainly seeing it in the office as audiologists, people more engaged, people more willing to respond in social situations, and people less tired because they're hearing with less effort.